Hello, good afternoon. Andrew and I are about to go on our ride. I don't know if you can see him yet, there you go. We're about to go for an afternoon ride and yeah, we're taking a backpack today um, because I think we're gonna probably try to stop at Walmart to get some inner tubes just so we have some extra ones so we don't have to postpone our trip like we did last time. Um, that way we could do longer rides and what, whatnot. So anyway, we are about to go on a nice bike ride and I think we're also gonna attempt to bike on a little bit more rough terrain than on the roads we've been biking on. There's Andrew um, today, because I think that would be just a good experience for us to have. So that's the plan. Okay, just climbed our first hill. It's pretty tough. We have biked from home to Walmart and then over to what's called the Greenport Land Conservation Area. So we're just checking out some trails back here. Um, right over the hills there is the Hudson River. So it's pretty beautiful here. We've been here, what, once or twice before? At least, yeah, I think at we, least we twice. walked it once and I went yeah, with Jen, been, I think, yeah. one other time. Yeah, it's a beautiful area. It's about, it's about what, 10 miles away from where we are? Yeah, we were, I think about 11 10, miles right 10 now. 10 or 11 miles away from super, super close. where we live. So it's a nice ride and yeah. we'll see what we find today. Yeah, and this is my first time actually biking on a trail like this. I've only really biked on road, like paved paths and like a little bit of gravel from where we live. But this is my first time like doing maybe some wood stuff. We'll see how it goes. I, on the other hand, have had about a week of experience in college when I took a intensive mountain biking course. So where did you go to college and where did like how did you take a mountain biking course like that? Yeah, I went to Green Mountain College in Vermont, what in Pulteney, major? Vermont, and I majored in adventure education and they have a special program there for learning what most people understand as outdoor leadership. But um, <laughs> the mountain biking definitely challenged me. And what the most, the biggest memory I have is when my professor had me go faster than I was comfortable over a jump. And as I was in the air, I threw my mountain bike as far as I could because I just knew in my head I was going to wipe out. So I wanted the bike as far as away as I could. So thankfully, I threw the bike and I landed beside a tree. So I didn't get hurt. <laughs> It's kind of funny so. how uh, Andrew is so used to being in the outdoors, whereas me, growing up in New York City, I think the first time I went camping was in my mid-twenties. And I haven't even been proper camping, you know? It's more like in a field where people like know what's going on. That's my camping. So it's going to be a really fun adventure for us when we actually do go on our adventure of biking across the country. Okay, sometimes you end up on paths where there are roadblocks. This little tree, or big tree, fell over. So we're having to simply get our bikes over it. <laughs> a little, little tough, but you know, it's the way it goes when you go off the road. <laughs> we made, it, made it to the gazebo here at the conservation area. It's so beautiful, look, look at this. Check overlooking the Hudson River. It's so wonderful. And the train actually runs all across there. I don't know if you can see, there's actually a train track. And there's like this whole history here. It's really cool. They used to transport stuff, you know, from the city back, you know, all the way to Albany, I think. Um, but that's the Catskill Mountains over there. I don't know if you can see. I don't even know if you can hear me because it's so windy today. Um, but anyway, the Catskill Mountains are over there. And it's so beautiful, so peaceful here. It's so, like, it's so wonderful to live around something like this. It's so crazy we only live a few miles from here, you know? Not even like 10 miles, you know? Because we took a little detour. But anyway. All right, we're gonna break out a snack, take a rest, and get on our way. Anyway, we're gonna go finish up our bike ride. We've done 13 miles so far, so hopefully we can get to 30. Probably, probably 25 is the most. Maybe 30. We'll see. That's what I've been thinking about in my head, how to get home which route to take so we can take more miles. We got back from our biking trip and we ended up doing 24.1 miles total. And it's over two hours of biking. 
However, <laughs> we didn't film too much on the way back because um, about six or seven miles out, uh, Melissa, we noticed, or I noticed, that Melissa had a flat. And so, after a second, a second look, um, she noticed that there was a piece of glass that had got. I think it was actually like a staple. Oh, okay. But whatever. Anyways, something punctured my tire and it was deflating. Yeah. So what we decided to do was stop every like three or four miles and just pump up the tire. Like it went down to like 10 pounds per square inch, and we pumped it up to like 40 or more, or a little more where the tire's max was like 55. So that probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. We were both kind of being, well, I was more being a little lazy and um, we kind of just went along with that. Well, cause also when Andrew got a flat tire the other day, it was so hard to get the tire off to get to the inner yeah, tube. I know. And so he was remembering, I think, that experience and didn't really want to do it. Yeah. So we're actually gonna wait to take my bike in on Friday. So that we can, so that we can get maybe get the, some tips or something. Have a lesson from Ron, who runs the shop over there, of a better way, a more efficient way, an easier way to change our tires going forward. Or maybe he can give us like some secret tips because it was so hard. Right. And so if that does have a test in the road, maybe he can loosen it, or I don't know, maybe as a tool or something. I literally have no idea, but um, hopefully he can help us on Friday and maybe teach us an easier way to do it. So. So we'll be taking a break. few days off. <laughs> it's so sad because all I want to do is bike right now. Yeah, we'll see. We might we might just get it back up and running. We'll see. Well, maybe maybe but tomorrow. Maybe. At least there'll be at least one day where <laughs> where we don't we don't ride. Yeah. Um, but we're we're loving the riding and we hope you enjoy. And also today I got some footage. tips though yeah. for like biking oh, yeah, better, yeah. which is really cool. Um, this a family that I work for. Um, they just, anyway, this guy was there, he was working on the house and he was saying that he's a biker and he was giving us some tips on how to, you know, better use our muscles more efficiently. So we're going to probably start implementing some of that, which was really fun to learn. Um, so it's nice to learn new things that we literally have no idea about. So, um, anyway, just that I put that in, but so I guess if you like this video, Subscribe below, please. We would really appreciate it. And give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Either one. We like the feedback. <laughs> and if you have any questions or comments, we'd love to read and hear from you. So um, we'll do our best to get back to you if you do comment, if you choose to comment on our video. And uh, we hope you have a wonderful day. And we will do the same. Cheers.